Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I had positive feedback from my last video which was working our lower and upper backs and a lot of people enjoyed it and it also led to a new recommendation so shout out to Joaquin for recommending this week's theme and today we're actually going to be working on our necks. There are very few times you would expect to get injured when you're sleeping, but if there's one muscle group that it happens to, more often than not, it is the neck. You wouldn't guess it from my background, as you can see all those pillows there, but I actually don't like sleeping with a pillow. If I'm in my bed and I'm propped up to watch a TV show or a movie, that's one thing, but when it comes to actually laying down to sleep and putting a pillow under your head, I've never understood it. If your whole body is flat on your bed, why would you want the one thing to be propped out to be your head? That just adds so much strain and pressure to your neck and you can wake up super stiff and that happens to a lot of us. Talking about this does make me want to mention that if you do have a problem with your neck and you've consulted with a physician and it's something a little bit more serious, then please follow the sequence to your discretion. I'm not a doctor and I also don't know each individual person that will be watching this. So I can't tell you if a pose will be too hard for you. I can make my best recommendations and I will do that. This is all about being gentle and taking care of yourself. I also want to mention this is a nice restorative practice so please get in anything comfortable that you want to wear. We want to take this time to set the mood, set the tone, and just relax and restore. I have my candle lit. You can't see it in the back there, it actually might have blown out it looks like. But the room does smell good, like chestnut, so <laughs> that's my mood for today. Chestnut and some neck exercises. I also am going to mention if you have a block that you should bring it. I personally only have one yoga block at the moment, so I will just be using one. If you have two, bring both of them. And I would also suggest bringing a blanket or something that you are able to roll up. It could be a towel or any, any sort of makeshift support system. Anyways, enough rambling. Do what you gotta do to set up your room and get into the mood of calmness and we will begin with our sequence. All right, everyone, thanks for sticking around. So today we are going to begin in easy pose or if you prefer, lotus. I always take lotus because I'm working on flexibility except my feet do get super cold this way. <laughs> so in this moment, you want to keep your core activated, your back straight, a nice good posture, shoulders over your hips, your back as straight as possible, and then we're just going to do some neck rolls. We're gonna start with an inhale, exhale our chin to our chest, and then we're gonna inhale, you might get some double chins here, and then we're gonna inhale, looking to the left, now you don't want to overdo it and look up at the ceiling, you're just looking to the side. And then we're going to exhale back to center, and then inhale to the right. And exhale back to center. So try and keep that stationary posture and hold, hold the straight back here. So now we'll do this together, we'll do it as one flow to the left and right. So you can do it at your own pace, we'll do it about 10 times. Ready? So inhale, exhale. Take your time, you can close your eyes, keep your back lengthened, and we'll just do a couple more here. And we'll inhale back to center. Now we're going to do the reverse where we extend our face up to the ceiling and we're going to inhale to the left, exhale back to center inhale to the right so you can do this at your own pace make it flow with your own movements um, just don't overextend and take it very very slow again you can close your eyes if you wish so we'll inhale exhale our head to the ceiling core is still activated back is still lengthened we'll inhale to the left and to the right and you'll just feel a nice little swing but very slow and generous, gentle. Letting my mole on my neck say hello to the world. <laughs> we'll do a couple more. And back to center. Awesome, that's a nice little warm up and something I do when my neck hurts. 
all the time. <laughs> so feel free to take that as your own and use it when you can. So while we're focusing on the neck, we should also tend to the shoulders because they are near each other and the pain is sometimes connected. So it is good to target both of them simultaneously. So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna begin with some shoulder shrugs. So we're gonna inhale, bring our shoulders to our ears, trying to keep our gaze straight ahead and exhaling, letting go. Again, our core is activated, our back is lengthened, we have proper posture, and we're just gonna inhale and exhale, lower down. So we'll just do a few of these at your own pace. If you find that you're shaking, that's okay. It just means that you're, you're active and working those muscles. Kind of pretend like you're getting electrocuted or getting a little shock. <laughs> that's what it feels like. Or you're about to become Frankenstein. <laughs> so we'll do three more together. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. And one more. Inhale. And lower down. By the way, I'm aware of all the chins that I'm showing off today. It's okay. <laughs> okay, brilliant. So now this next one is another one where you're very wary of the way your face looks. Um, if you've ever seen the Sum 41 album cover for, I don't know what the album's called, but the one that has fat lip on it and they're all shaking their heads and it's kind of frozen and pushed, that's what our face is going to look like just for a little bit here. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on our left side. So we're going to inhale, bring our left hand to our face. We're pushing our face, trying to turn it to the left side of the room, but we have a barrier here, so it just creates some resistance. So we'll do that together. And we'll inhale back to center and we'll do the same on the right side so we're gonna inhale place our fingers onto our face and slowly rotate to the right of the room again my shoulders are away from my ears I'm pushing against my fingertips with my face and you can feel it against your, you can feel it in the back of your neck right here You're not pushing too hard, you're just giving enough effort that you feel it and it's a nice, it should feel good. It should be a nice stretch in your neck. And slowly release. Okay, now we're moving back to our neck. So we're gonna inhale, place opposite elbows behind our back. So our right, so our right palm is holding our left elbow and our left palm is holding our right elbow. From here, we're going to lengthen, lengthen our spine, inhale and exhale our neck to the right of the room. Again, you don't want your shoulders coming up. You just want a nice stretch in your neck. Very gentle, subtle movement. And it should feel relieving. No pain, just relief. And we'll inhale back to center and exhale to the right. I'll just stay here. I'm gonna face the back just so you guys can see what I'm doing with my elbows. Um, just follow your own breath here. So this is me from the back. I am grabbing opposite elbows and exhale to the right. Right ear to right shoulder. Making sure with each inhale your length, your back is lengthening. slowly release. Now I'll come back to face you. My ankle was starting to ache a little bit so I decided to come back to easy pose. If you want to meet me here you can do that otherwise you can stick to however you were seating previously. We're now coming back to our shoulders. What we're going to do is we're going to place our fingertips on our shoulders. You don't need to squeeze or hold with your full palm. Just kind of rest your fingertips on them. And what, what we're going to do is we're going to inhale our elbows so they're out facing straight ahead. And then we're going to exhale windmill, bringing them out to point to each side of the room. So it's a nice shoulder stretch open here. 
Um, you can show off your biceps if you want to, but we're just gonna hold here and then we'll exhale back to center. We're gonna do this in a flow so you can follow the movement all in one. So this should feel really good in the shoulders, getting a nice stretch. If, you, if this feels really nice and you just want to hold it for a couple extra seconds, you can do this at your own pace, whatever feels good for you. If this hurts your wrist and you're straining this way, then feel free to let go and just hold any way that feels nice. <sighs> This is a good, this is basically what you feel when you wake up in the morning for a big yawn. Inhale. Ah, nice yawn here. And release. So that's what you can think about. So we'll do two more of these. Okay, that's great. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually massage ourselves. It's not very often that we decide to massage ourselves and it does actually create a pretty good impact on your muscles and it can really relieve pain that you didn't realize that you have the magic touch yourself to heal or at least improve. And we're gonna do that on our next today. Follow me, we're gonna take our left hand to the back of our neck so your whole palm of your hand is covering your whole back of your neck. Your fingertips that are on the right side are just kind of staying there for support, but they're not do putting any pressure. All of the pressure is coming from your palm. So what you're going to do is you're going to squeeze the back of your neck, but don't squeeze with your fingertips. Squeeze by pushing in your palm to the side of your neck and just having Having the fingertips there is sort of like a gate, and if it feels uneven right now, don't worry, we'll balance it out on the right side. So this should just feel very nice on your left, on the left back of your neck. So we're gonna squeeze and hold for 10 seconds. You can close your eyes and breathe into it. And we'll slowly release and we're gonna move to the other side so we're gonna bring our right hand to the back of our neck our fingertips are there a little bit loose but they're for support and we're just going to squeeze our palm into the right side of our neck holding for 10 seconds and breathing again shoulders away from the ears nothing should be tight you should just feel relaxed and release. This time we're going to massage the shoulders. So we're going to take our left hand and place it on our right shoulder. If you need to get under any clothing, feel free. <laughs> it's your body. You know what you can do. Pressure points work very well, but it is hard to describe where they are and even to locate them yourself sometimes. So trust your judgment and find what feels good in your body. So for me, it's about here on my shoulder. So I'm going to press down here and hold for 10 seconds. So just breathing. Close your eyes. This is why it's good to set the mood in your room. I'm breathing in a nice chestnut candle. The lights are dim. It's actually nighttime instead of morning today. I'm taking this restorative practice in. Okay, and you can release for a second here if you want to wring out your arm, wring out your left arm, feel free. And then we're going to come back to the same area. And in the same area, we're still going to hold the pressure point that we found or the place that it felt the best. And we're going to slowly rotate our right shoulder. If you're one of those people that doesn't like body clicking like me, <laughs> you might not like this one. 
Um, you can hear you can hear some grinding in the in the bones <laughs> and clicking in the body here. We'll do a couple. Ooh, that was a big one. We'll do a couple rotating backwards behind us, and then we'll inhale and rotate forwards in front of us. So we'll do about five rotations on each. I'll do that again. So we'll inhale for one, two, three, four, five, and then reverse. One, two, three, four, and five. And we'll slowly let go. Now we're gonna do the opposite side. So we'll inhale our right hand to our left shoulder. Feel around for what's comfortable for you. Oh yeah, mine's right about here. So in the same area that I had on the right, just on my left, and we're going to squeeze here for 10 seconds. do the shoulder rotations again. But I'm going to start going backwards. So we're still squeezing with our right hand and we're just rotating our shoulder. If you want to lift your elbow up you can do so or you can just do your shoulder shrugs and grind out behind you. <laughs> and then we'll reverse going forward. Two, three, four, and five. Great. Awesome. I love massages. I'm just starting self-massage now and it is a life changer, I swear to you. Like who knew that we had the luxury to be this tender and fix our fix ourselves. We're literally like Wolverine. Like we can heal ourselves just by massaging. It's a very powerful tool that we have right in our own fingertips. We're not finished, so we are gonna take our left hand back to our right shoulder. But instead of staying up top, we're actually going to start a little bit lower down. And from here, we're just going to slide our way up to the collarbone. So we're pushing down, massaging ourselves all the way up. So we'll just follow this stroke about five times. But take your time, hold it slowly. You really want to feel the deep benefits here. So I'll do three more. Amazing. Now we'll do it to the other side. So our right hand on our left shoulder. I'll turn to the side for you guys. So we're starting a little bit lower, pressing our fingertips into our backs and shoulders and coming all the way up to our collarbone area. Mm, this feels so good. So we're just going to press and stroke ourselves here. We'll do three more. And one last one. Beautiful. Now that the massage is over, we're going to turn over into tabletop position. Okay. So our knees are hip distance apart, our tops of our feet are into the mat, and palms beneath the shoulders. And we're going to start with some cat-cow. So inhale, lifting our gaze up, lowering our belly. And exhale, belly button to spine, bending our head forward. So it feels really good to extend. Exhale, and release. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to start on my right just so you guys can see it a little bit better, but you can start with your left. What we're going to do is we're going to take our right hand, the palm of our hand, and place it on the back of our head. So our elbow is extended in the air, and this will be on our inhale. And on our exhale, we're going to lower down. While we're doing this, we're kind of guiding with our hand 
kind of pressing into the head, not too strong or powerful, but just giving a little bit of pressure and bringing our elbow to match where our palm used to be. So we're staying here in this position, our core is activated. So we're just gonna do about five reps of this. So we'll inhale our elbow up to the sky and exhale, pushing back down. Inhale to the sky. This is kind of opening the chest, the shoulders, and pressing, pressing our head to feel it in our neck. Back down. So we'll do three more here. You can go at your own pace. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Inhale, and exhale. So now we'll slowly release our palm to the, our right palm to the mat, or left palm, whichever you started with. And now we'll do the opposite side. So we'll place our left hand on the back of our head, or our right hand. And then it's an inhale, up towards the sky, and exhale, down to the mat. Feeling the pressure on the head, but nothing too strong. Make sure your core is activated. And we'll do one more. And slowly release. Okay, perfect. Now this time we are going to thread the needle. So if you're unfamiliar with this, we are going to lift our left arm into the sky and we can follow the fingertips with our gaze. So we'll inhale, looking at our fingertips. We've reached the top of the ceiling and we'll exhale bringing our left hand through our right elbow is still bent and we're getting a nice shoulder stretch on the left side so we'll hold here for a couple breaths and we're going to come back up the same way so we'll inhale our left arm into the sky and then back down to center so if you follow along with me here inhale arm extending back into the sky, gaze at the fingertips, and exhale, palm to mat. Now we'll do the same on the right side. So inhaling, fingertips to the sky, and exhale, thread the needle beneath our left elbow. Again, a nice shoulder stretch here, staying for a couple breaths. We'll come back up, inhaling, extending our fingertips to the sky, looking, looking at our fingertips, and lower down to the mat. Now from here, we are going to place our knees together and lower down to child's pose. Forehead to mat. So breathe, big belly breaths here, relaxing. Inhale, we'll come back up. So inhale, rise. And I'm just gonna move down to seated position. Awesome work, you guys. The practice is almost over, I promise. I had the idea that I wanted to offer you guys three different ending poses. So it's up to you on how you're feeling and which pose you wanna take. But if you continue to watch the video, then I will offer you three different suggestions. And depending on what kind of props or area that you're working in, uh, you can choose which one will work best for you. If you have all the props and the location works for you, then feel free to do all three of them and just end in whichever one you prefer, or you can choose one and we will end the practice together. So for the first one, I am going to begin with the props. So I do have a block here as well as a blanket. I did mention if you have more than one block, then you can use that to your benefit as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab the block and shift over 
to the long edge of my mat. I'm going to have the block behind me. If you do have two blocks, what I would suggest you to do is make a T so you could have one block facing this way, one block facing that way. So it is a T. This would be between your shoulder blades and this, and then the stem of the T would be along your back or spine. So you can do it that way if you want. Otherwise, I just have one block. So I'm going to do one on my upper back. So I'm going to place the, place the block here. Grab the blanket. This could be a blanket or a towel or a pillow, anything that can kind of offer some support. And I'm just going to place it in front, in front of the block this way. So what this position is, is actually a supported fish pose. I'll slowly place the block beneath me and release. Ah, perfect. And then the blanket is just here for support of your head. If your blanket is lowered down, make sure to fold it a few times and stack it so it reaches, it reaches your head. You don't want to be using your neck the way we always do as support and holding up your head. You want to fully be able to let go. Okay? And then we'll just stay here, close our eyes, relax all of our muscles, and breathe. If that doesn't work for you, the next position we are going to do is actually going to be on the couch. You've probably done this before as kids or maybe in your adult life. I still do it from time to time, but if you have a couch or a bed, then you can follow me. We are going to come up to the couch, place our bums to the main cushions, the back cushions. So our feet are over the back edge of the couch and slowly just release our head upside down. But just find a place where you're comfortable. Completely relax your arms, completely relax your neck and head. I wanted to show you one final option to end the practice in. We're gonna come up to the wall and extend our legs up against it. So basically our bum is pretty close to the wall, not quite touching because we want our fingertips to be able to come out straight. Don't keep your legs flexed like this, keep trying to extend them and keep them straight. You want to completely relax. So we're just going to close our eyes. If you want a pillow, like I mentioned before, I'm not much of a pillow person, but you can put it under your neck or directly under your head, wherever you feel you need support. And then we're just going to close our eyes and relax and, and then we'll breathe. just breathe here. I hope this restorative practice did help restore you and calmed you down and got you ready for bed or for the day, depending on what time it is you're watching this. And I look forward to the next one. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.